Okay, public art. Um, I've been very blessed. <laughs> uh, there's um, like there's uh, ways of finding out. Sculpture magazine, uh, because you know, being a sculptor, I belong to it. Inside this, um, I think this cost me like, what is it about? Is it eighty bucks a year to be a member, and you get the magazine. Unless you want to spend more, they'll take more. Yeah. Uh, you might be a company like the President's League or whatever, but um, they'll talk about opportunities in, in there. There's a section. Um, if you're in this area, Chicago Artist Coalition. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to be an artist and you're in this area, I'd suggest subscribing to it. It, it gives you a lot of jury shows are listed in it every month, um, and those jury shows aren't just in this area. Some of them, they get you know, requests from uh, around the country, like, you know, different states saying we're having a jury show, so you can apply to those. You'd end up having to pay to ship your artwork to that show if it gets accepted. Generally, you'll send slide, you know, three slides or something like that. Cost you twenty five bucks um, uh, to enter. If it's jury, you get in, then you have to get the artwork to them and pay for it to come back. Uh, with the chances of winning an award or something like that, but if nothing else, you've got another piece for your resume. Um, How do you get public art? Public art. I mean, that's a big part of okay. your business. I mean, how yeah. You? They, um, basically what happens is you find out that there's a call for artists out there and it's posted. Uh, you have to go online. You know, like I've got, you know, I'll, I'll go to, you can go to states and find out if they have a public art thing. Mm -hmm. Like I know I'm in Texas and California and some certain state cities because uh, they have big project things. When they have a project, they go through their, their um, bank of artists and if they feel your work is uh, compatible with what they're looking for, they'll send you the thing saying, you know, if you're interested in applying for this. Um, like the Sculpture Magazine lists it. The Chicago Artist Coalition has those kind of things in it, opportunities. Generally about three or four every month it will be listed. Uh, the website for this, which only if you advertise in it, they have a whole list of, um, of those opportunities because a lot of the public art projects know about this book now and they're using them as one of their sources to try to find artists for the public art. Uh, you get the, you know, the uh, call for artists thing and they'll be asking you for resume, uh, probably 10 to 12 to 20 slides and or digital disc, because they're starting to sh uh, you know, shift over uh, digitals now, um, which is a lot better, uh, easier. But an annotated list of the slides, you know, um, a letter of interest usually, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain, you know, why, why do you have to, you know, you're obviously interested in wanting to do the project, otherwise you wouldn't be taking your time to submit this stuff. <laughs> but they want to hear something from you and what, what, what your possible thoughts are towards the beginning of this project. Um, after that, usually they go through it, the committee, and they'll pick out three artists to make a proposal, and there should be a stipend for that, um, because, you know, now you're going to have to actually make something. It's going to be more of your time. So generally there's a thousand dollar stipend for you to make a model. And they'll generally choose from those three artists, but they aren't guaranteeing that because those three artists may come up with bombs. You know, what they just say, none of us like it. Uh, and then with it, they'd start the process over. At the beginning of the project, they said, you know, the money allowed for the project is 50,000, 75,000. Uh, that includes installation, all materials, all transportation, or they'll just say that, you know, that's for the, the piece itself. You know, that, that kind of stuff is always stipulated because you wouldn't want to do, you know, say I'll do it for 50000 and then find out that um, you're going to have to pay for installation, uh, the, the grading, the, you know, because yeah. that could cost, you know, $50,000 right there. I love the public art projects. It's one of my more exciting things because you get a big bulk of money, but, you know, it also costs, you know, there's a lot of, like when you're doing a big sculpture like that, there's a lot of uh, materials cost. But you know what, there's public art out there for painters, ceramic, uh, wall reliefs, um, designing hallways, you know, they're out there, if you know, so there's a, there's a unlimited what they're looking for.